Hey guys, it's Rachel with Mr. Nola's Glitter. How are you doing today? Um, today is Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, maybe. And um, we are going to, I'm going to show you um, some techniques that I've did or I have learned the last week. I did a little preview video showing you um, last Sunday that I started playing with some acrylic paints and trying to do some pours and stuff. And um, I will show you. There's Mr. Nola. Today is Thursday. Just want to let you know. Today's Thursday. Oh, today's Thursday. <laughs> Not to interrupt you. I don't know where I'm Thursday. at. Yeah, I don't know where I'm at. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. So today is obviously Thursday. I have no idea where I am or what day it is or anything like that, but I'm here with you guys. So I'm going to wait for a few of you guys to come on. I'm going to don't know where my phone might be. Let's see. Ah, Mr. Nola might have it. Mr. Nola, will you bring me my phone, please, sir? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, guys. All right. Let me tell my admins. <laughs> I tell them that we are live. Let me tell my niece. All right. So while you're sitting here waiting for me to tell the world that I'm live, if um, you are new here, welcome. Uh, I am pretty much all over the place, but I will go to you real and we will go down a crafty road together. Sometimes we do good things. Sometimes we make huge mistakes, but um, I'm learning along with you guys. So I just want to let you know what I'm doing. All right. So um, my friend, Amelia, um, started, I watched a live briefly in and out, um, trying to, um, she started doing acrylic skins and I have tried a million and one times to do an acrylic pour. And, um, I cannot wrap my, wrap my head around the concept that less is more because me, I'm like, what color do I want to use? Seven. I want to use seven rainbow colors. I want to use all the colors. Um, so, um, that's where I am. So I'm going to get a few more minutes to let a few of you hop on. Um, vacation was great. Um, it was uh, a lot of fun. It was a lot of relaxation. We didn't do, um, we snorkeled, but most of the time it was just like chilling and being with each other and hanging out on the beach. So um, that was cool um, until Mr. Nola lost his passport the last day before we were going to fly home. Um, so that was, a that was 12 hours of us panicking. Um, so we were able to fly out of the country without a passport, which it can be done. It's just not very easy. Um, and then two days later they found his passport. So he's going to have to go through the whole passport process again to get another passport because once you cancel a U.S. passport, they cannot reinstate it. Okay. So just just in case you needed to know, that's a little information. Um, let's see. Um, thank you, Crystal. She says, I love your design. I'm learning so much from you. Please keep up the good work. Thank you for blessing us with what you do. I just like to be crafty and I like to teach people what I know or um, the things that I haven't learned. Um, so an acrylic skin. Okay. So someone wants to know what acrylic skin and we're, we're going to jump in. There's a there's hundred and some odd of you on now. So I'm going to show you. So an acrylic skin is basically when you do an acrylic pour, look how pretty that is. Oh, the first one I showed you guys, it was not pretty. It's really kind of yucky because I used too many colors. But um, so this is the one that um, I did a few days ago. So when we create um, our, uh, cut our tumblers and some other things I'm going to show you, we're going to use this one. This one is fully dry. <clears throat> It, excuse me. It has been, hey y'all, it has been washed because I'm going to tell you why it needs to be washed with Dawn dish soap because I use uh, an acrylic pour oil, which I will show you guys all the ins and outs of this. There are tons of other things that you can use perhaps, but this is what I have. And so um, I'll tell you what this does. So um, all those little cells on here that you guys see, all those little cool little bubbles and stuff um, are, are created by using this pour oil. So I'm going to show you um, when we pour this next one, why you'll have to wash it before you use it on a tumbler or something. Okay. 
All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this one to the side because we're going to use this one, but we're going to pour one together and then put that one to the side to use at a different date. OK, so what I'm going to be using is um, I um, Arzetta, 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 I think is what they're called. Um, these are their premium pour paints. Um, this is um, the only paint that I have been able I have used every kind of paint under the sun. But again, I am not a pro at this. This is like literally will be my third time doing this. So don't come at me saying that it's not the right way or all that. This is what I have learned using this paint and, and how I created that technique. Or I didn't even create the technique, sorry. How I created that piece. Okay. So um, I bought these. I don't know why I was on vacation because I was like, I'm going to learn how to do that. So these were here when I came back from vacation. Um, I will have um, I will have a link below to where you could get everything after the video is over. So you guys can go shopping and click to your buggy, compare prices, whatever you have to do. I'll have the link below. OK. Um, oh, cookie cutters. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, oh, OK, so this is this is the paint that I've used. The first time I did it, I used rainbow. And this is a piece that I had left over. Um, because y'all, when it dried, it got ugly. All right. So, I mean, this was a piece. So this was my first piece that I had. Um, it got real muddy because I used all the colors. I mean, it's got some really cool cells on it, uh, but it really got muddy and I really wanted something pretty. Okay. So, um, so with that, um, I, with this piece, cause I was like, I want to make something out of it because I made it right. Uh, I was able to pull a couple little pieces and create these cool little bezels, which I'm going to show you how to do, um, which this is super easy. Y'all, if I could do this and this took like literally two minutes, anybody can. And these are like one of a kind little pendants and stuff, or you can add, make keychains out of them whatever you want, um, little gift tags, whatever you could do, whatever you want. All right. So these are, these are super easy, super fun. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, easy breezy. You can knock out a million of them in an hour, literally. Okay. So I wasn't really a fan. So that is why I did the blue one, which I'm really happy with. So today I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and, um, yet again, I'll just throw my keyboard in the garbage. I don't recommend that. Um, so I am going to use my mind says I want to use neon colors, but my heart says you probably shouldn't do that because it might be a little money. So they have these really beautiful pastel colors. So I thought maybe that I would go against my normal grain of vibrant, bold, um, bright and try to do um, with the um, uh, pastel colors. So I have um, a coral, which is pretty. There is a rose pink, a pastel yellow. Um, I need some sort of light blue. That's carnation pink. Like a light. Always going to use white. That's what I found that white does match my hair. I don't have, I've already used all the purple. <laughs> So I would have to get more purple. Oh, well, I have this lavender. Um, and then I need a, like a light blue. So these are the colors that come inside of this box. There's 32 different colors. Um, it's a really big uh, um, selection. Can y'all see that or not really? Uh, and they give you like four whites and two blacks because those are the two colors when you're pouring. You need like a main color or whatever. Um, and so... Um, yeah, so these are the colors that are coming in there. Um, so I used gray on the last one too. So here's the white. I don't think there is a light. Oh, sea green. There you go. All right, so that's that's the colors. I don't want to use too many because that's how I get in trouble. All right, so we're going to go with sea green, coral, pastel yellow. I don't have too much of this lavender left because I used it on the last one. So this is pretty. How about these? These look very um, out of the norm for me. All right. So um, these look out of the norm for me. So we'll do that. Okay. 
try one bright color, one bright color. Um, with these, someone says, try one bright color with these. Okay, um, how about, how about a form? Phalo green, is that bright? That doesn't look bright. Like bright, like neon? Gold, gold. Okay, I could do gold. Bronze. Gold. Okay, gold. Got it. Gold. We're going to do gold. That sounds like it might be like marbly. It might be pretty, right? Then we can use some other stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So six plus the white. Or should I remove one of these? Hmm. One dark color. So dark like the gold or dark like a different color? I think I'm going to take that purple out. Metallic, hot pink, do them all. How about no yellow? No yellow. And then, of course, you have to add the white in there. No yellow. Hi, hi, Miss Patricia. Yep, they are ready to pour. So the only thing we're gonna, only thing I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna add that pouring oil in there because that creates cells like super easy. Um, and I've never gotten cells before until I use that. So uh, if it's not broken, I'm going to go with it. Okay. Um, put the yellow back in. Great choices. Hi, Rachel from Minnesota. There is no contrast. See, I don't. Um, so a dark color contrast. Um, or should I do like a. Like a. Like this. I like that coral though. Yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> this is so stressful. All right, this right here. No, yes, no. <laughs> Keep the coral. Mm, go with those. Just, all right, I'm just going to roll with it. I'm just going to lay some cups out and it is what it is. Okay. So. I'm going to turn you down. No hot pink. One neon. Oh my God. All right. Cool. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to fake it till we make it. How about that? All right. So, um, this, what I'm using here is, um, this is a piece of acrylic for my Glowforge. I have wrapped it with saran wrap and taped it off. Uh, I like it because, um, if you have something else, use whatever you have. This is just something small enough for me to move around like this and I can hang it and, and make it do all the things that I need it to do. So that's what that is. Um, I have these little cups I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to lay them out. Um, here's my white. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the hot pink. I'm going to do this blue. I'm going to do the gold. And then maybe this yellow. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Four colors. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right. So these are what I didn't do is open these. Up. So these are all, these are the pouring acrylic paints. So these are pre, um, pre, whatever you're supposed to do with them. They're very liquid, so you don't have to mix anything with them. Um, the only thing that um, I will do is I will use this acrylic pour oil, a couple drops, and that's, what's, um, that's what gave me the cells that I have on the other one. So remember, we're not going to use this one today on our tumbler. Um, I'm just going to show you how I got it. Uh, we'll make it together. We'll put it to the side, and then um, I'll post the results of this one like in our YouTube or something. I mean, in our Instagram or on our Facebook page. So that's a lot of pink. I should have not used that much pink, but it is what it is. Hi, Kelsey. Love your face. Um, so that was hot pink. This one is sea green. That's a lot of pink, y'all. That's a lot of pink. Um, so I'm just opening the tops of these. I have to get my baby wipes out. I didn't get mixing sticks. So, ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I could do that. I'm just going to do less of these two. So this is the gold. Did I shake it? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm sure, Miss J, I'm sure Floetrol will. I bought it, um, 
But I, from what I read, which I could be wrong, the flow trial is what makes it fluid. Um, I think someone told me that perhaps maybe treadmill oil might work the same or lube or anything like that. Um, anything silicone based is what's going to give you the cells. Um, so if you have, um, I think I even have something from the Dollar Tree that somebody recommended one time for um, for the cells. But I... Um, I bought this cell oil a long time ago, so I figured I'd just, I'd, um, I'd use it. Okay, let me wipe this off. So I'm sure there's tons of, um, of things to use. There we go. That you can, um, that you can use in place of that oil. Okay. So you use a lot more white than you do everything else. I might throw, yeah, no, I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to turn this upside down because I use the rest up here and maybe open this one. Because um, I need a little bit of what I learned is you have to have some little stuff around your thing. So technical here uh, to make your paint flow around. All right. So I have that, have baby wipes on hand. I have these cups. Oh, Stacy, I'm so sorry. Thank you. All right, so we have the white, the hot pink, the seafoam green, the gold, the yellow. Um, this is, that's what I'm gonna do is add this acrylic pour oil. Um, <laughs> I'm going to add a few drops. If you can see that. I don't know if you can see how much I add. Not a lot. It might be too much. I'm not sure. I didn't really read the directions. If there is any, let me find a mixing stick. One second. All right, so I just have um, just a metal mixy stick. Just make sure that oil is all mixed up in there. So it's all nice and even through there on each one of your colors. I'll see that. I just want to. Woo! Next time, try not adding it to the white. Okay. Does it do something to the white? Next time, don't try adding it to the white. Okay, I will try that next time, not adding it to the white. If Canada purchases from your store, is it U.S. dollars and do you charge shipping how much? I just love your stuff. Um, it is um, regular. It's U.S. dollars. Um, it probably will convert on your end. Um, and we charge um, whatever the post office, the USPS or UPS, I'm not sure if that goes to Canada, um, to ship to you. So, yes, we definitely ship to Canada and um, there's no upcharge to ship to Canada. Oh, the white makes the cells. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. So. So should the th you think I should just put some white in here as my starter base without the, the stuff? I can try that. There we go. All right. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alternate lay in, layering these in, um, in this cup. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, at least that I had never had rhyme or reason when I did the last ones. Um, but I'm open to suggestions. So I just take this and pour a little bit in there. And then I'll take the next color. I don't know if you're supposed to swirl it or what have you or whatnot, but um, that's, um, that's what I do. There wasn't a whole lot of that gold. And then the yellow... And then I'm going to take some of this white. 
and put it in here. And then I'm going to fill it up the rest with whatever's left over. I love that pink and that blue. Ooh, I love that. You can wait to use the oil until the end and just flick some on the top after you pour it. And it gives a cool effect that way also. Cool. I will have to try that. And then the yellow again. And, um, yeah. So I will take, I'm going to put this to the side. Look how cool that looks on the side of the cup. Can y'all see that? There's a lot of white down there, but that's okay. So I'm just going to pour this here. If I had a um, thingy thingy, um, like a cake thing or whatever, I would use it. But I just have this little spatula thing. Same thing. This is, this is just how I did it before. So you can see the oil in here. Um, it's already creating cells by itself just on the white portion. So that's kind of cool. You might have to use more white. I, I just, less is more maybe. I don't want it super thick because I want it to dry into um, the skin. Okay. So I'm going to wipe this off. Um, our vacation was awesome. Do I love sandals? Yes and no. Um, more, um, it was all right. Like, I don't know. It was very lovey, which I love, Mr. Nola. But we like we, we wanted more adventure. So um, we love the experience, but we're not positive it would be an experience for us again. So um, one of these shirts, I got this off of... I don't remember. We've I've had this for like two years. It just started fitting me now, though. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so this is what I do. So I, to create those little rings, I don't know what they're called, tree rings, whatever, you kind of like start pouring it slowly and like you go like this as you're pouring it. Um, I don't know what that's called. Um um, I'm sure there's a technical term for it, but I don't know. So I, I started at this corner and then I kind of just went down with that blue one because it creates like these little things. So we're just going to go for it. Okay. Please don't screw it up. Like little loops, maybe loops. Twirls patterns. I don't know what it's called. All right. So that looks really cool. Tree rings. Okay. Tree rings. So that's what, that's what those are called. Tree rings, swirls. I don't know. Um, traveling pour. Maybe I'm not sure what it's called exactly. I'm t I told y'all I'm not, I have no clue what I'm doing, but this is what, how I got the pretty blue one. Um, and so then I just start manipulating it. So I just usually, I started this way to kind of get it. Oh, this is so pretty. Um, to that corner. Because I want it pretty much spread as thin as I can. And then I will, there is this called stretching. Look how pretty that looks. Not how pink is fire. Um, so I will make it travel this way to perhaps that corner down here. Now this will get messy. And then I want to go back down to this corner. I mean, I really like some of them now, but I really got to get it stretched. So I will probably pour some of this paint off the side because in order to get it where I need to go. All right, and so I will go back this way. We went to, um, we went to St. Lucia. 
which was amazing. Um, it was beautiful. I love, I love the Caribbean um, and everything about St. Lucia and the people there was totally amazing. Um, it was just the, the, um, the, I don't know, the, the laid back atmosphere. We like to do stuff. We, we did get to snorkel at the foot of the Python Python, Pythons, um, uh, volcano, which was super freaking cool. Um, so I'm not mad about that, but we would have much rather. So had, um, had it not been COVID, we probably would have gotten a lot more, got to do more stuff, but we were all right. So, all right. Pull it through the middle with their stick. All right. Well, I've made a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly, figure out how to set this on top of these things here. All right. So I'm going to get a baby wipe and I'm going to show y'all the next thing that I do. Hang on. Ugh. It's super pretty. I'm not even mad. And these are not even my colors. I think I would have, I would have liked it less had we not put that hot pink in there. But um, yeah, that's fire. All right. So the next thing I do is I take this little mini porch thing. Y'all know I don't normally use this because I will um, burn some stuff down. But this is how this will pop bubbles and this will create those cells. So I just run it over. Mr. Nola was supposed to fill my thing up. So you see where it's already creating cells? Um, we stayed at the Grand. That was the only one open. Mr. Nola. Now, I don't know if this a, a if there's a reason why I shouldn't do this a lot, but I like the cells that come out of here. Um, so. I'm going to try not to, Micah. I don't know if there's a reason, like I said, that I shouldn't torch the tarnation out of this paint, but I like the way it looks. And just a little bit of heat with that oil creates these cool little cells. You could also blow dryer to move the paint. Okay. I could do that. Let's see. Maybe... Maybe I just had to turn it up a little bit. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do to it. So um, there it is. Um, so, yes, I am. You don't want to scorch it because it will crack the paint. Would a regular heat gun work? Um, Paula, I do not know if a regular heat gun will work. I will scorch it. Okay. So I did bring some, I did have some glitter that I wanted to sprinkle in the top because I didn't do the other one. Um, so I thought, so this is White Castle. This is just an ultra fine, beautiful iridescent white. So I thought creating some lacing with this glitter might be really pretty. And um, yeah. Yeah. It looks pretty. So I don't want to put it too much. Like I don't want to like the whole page, the whole page, the whole thing to be covered. But I kind of wanted to make it like organic, like it was moving with some of that paint. I think this is like my, my favorite one I've done. Oh, very, very pretty. Less is more, less is more, less is more. I'm sorry I lost some of that blue because that blue section right here with the blue is super pretty. It's super pretty. I'm put some of that on that white right there so it's not so plain. At the ends. And then up here. I'm not going to put too much because less is more. Bam. All right. Cool. 
That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a lot of that. Have you ever made a zipper cup yet? No, I have not made a zipper cup yet. A little glitter to one of the colors. Okay, Trina, I was wondering if that would work. Um, hey, uh, but I never, um, I didn't know if it would show up. So I figured if I just dusted the glitter on top, which I also have Aquaberry Jr., which I might, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'm going to try. This is even finer than the other one. So it's like the micro fine, but I don't know if this will show up. Um, huh. I think it might be too fine. Let's see. Not terrible. Not terrible. I don't know if you guys can see that right here, that little line. So I might follow that. I just don't want to cover up all that blue because that blue is gorgeous. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Gold glitter. I uh, could do some gold glitter. A balloon smash onto it. Um, I would like to try a balloon smash, but not on this one because this one's kind of pretty. I really like this one. I just got to figure out. I normally um, put them to dry on top of our popcorn maker out there. So I have to make sure they're not popping popcorn. We don't have popcorn popping, do we? I need to put this on top. So I think I'm going to leave this alone because it's really pretty. And I don't want to mess it up. And we have we have another job to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wipe, wipe down the bottom to make sure I can transport it to the popcorn maker. Amber, is the popcorn maker cleaned off? Okay, yes. Um, let me make sure. Wait, let me grab this right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how pretty. That did come out really nice. And I got paint on me. Yep. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you. All right. So let me see if I can clean up this mess. And then we are going to, I have, Cassie, I've never made a Converse cup either. Um, let's see if I can um, clean up this mess and then we'll go to show you what it's when it dries. So pretty though. What do I do with it? What do I do? Okay. I don't want to do anything. I might, I don't want to wipe it. Okay. All right. Don't panic. Don't panic. We're just going to take it off. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Look how pretty it is in the cup. That's so pretty. Okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to come back to that and do something with it. I don't know what, but it's fine. It's fine. Perfect. Bam. Look at that. Clean surface. Whoa. All right. So I will wipe my hands off and then we will move on to the one I did um, the other day. Okay. Focus. Focus. Thank you. Um, dip a Nola knob into it. All right. Um, yeah. Extra skins. Yeah. All right, so now my hands are clean. Make sure. Yep, this shirt's ruined. Eh, it is what it is. Okay, wipe the top of the glitter. I have gotten paint everywhere. All right, so this one was done a few days ago. Um, when So say this was the one that we just did. Um, all these little cells, um, this would feel kind of greasy. So what I do is I just take this whole little board and um, I get it wet and then I take a paper towel and then I wipe it with Dawn uh, to get all of the um, oils uh, out of it that come that are from this acrylic oil, pour oil or whatever. Okay. 
So now that we have that, um, nope, there's no glitter on this one. This is glitter free, but we are going to put it on a glitter tumbler. So we are going to do that together. So these are fairly easy to come up. I um, This is packing tape on this board here. They're kind of freaky feeling. They feel like skin for real. So I know we all have used um, acrylic paint before and it and like you'll go to squirt it out the bottle and you get that clob, that clobber piece or whatever. That's essentially acrylic skin. It's just the skin that dries on the top of acrylic dry of acrylic in your bottle. Um, so it's essentially a skin. So um, what I haven't figured out, look how pretty it is on the other side. Um, Mr. Knowles glitter, next time have a second base sheet to take the other overflow from the first. Oh, okay, Anne, thank you. So this, you were just pulling off. So you can pull it off and it comes like one piece. So what I'm going to do is... I really liked this little pattern right here. It was kind of very, um, I like the purple in it. I like, I like the purple the best. So I like the places that the purple showed up. So what I'm going to do is, but I also like this, um, this raw edge on the end here. So I'm going to pull this up and kind of not lay it on itself because that'll be a mess. It'll stick to each other. Don't do that. But I'm going to put like a little piece of paper under it because the top part is not going to stick to that piece of paper. But it will stick to itself. It's not the end of the world, but it's kind of a pain. So I'm going to try to peel this off from each other because like I said, I like the raw edges of it. And um, like I warned you before we started this video, um, I am not a pro. So I could be going about this 17 kinds of wrong. All right. Um, yeah, it's um, Vanessa asked, what's the board covered in? So it's covered in saran wrap and packing tape. That's it. Um, yeah. So um, like I said, uh, I could be going around uh, around this. Um, uh, all kinds of wrong. But this is a glittered and epoxy tumbler that's not near perfectly epoxied. Just a thin coat to get it stayed on there. You can thin it with Floetrol or a little water. Um, maybe. Probably. I'm not sure. Number three here. All right, and this is number two that I've done. So. I want to kind of wrap this tumbler with it. And I want it to keep these raw edges because I think those are really cool. I can create raw edges, but I would much rather them have what they have. This is very sticky on the back of this. I don't know that you would need any sort of um, adhesive to make it stick to your glittered tumbler. Um, I could be wrong. I could fail this. We're not sure, but um, I don't think so because it's very sticky and see that's folded over each other. So I'm going to create my own little edge here and cut that piece off. There we go. So I've created my own little edge right there. All right. Um, could you like the clear cast sheets for a stained glass? Yeah, you definitely could. Um, you could definitely do that. That would actually be really pretty. Um, it would just take a little while to cut them, but sure. Um, you could use, you could ba basically use that for anything. So I'm going to lose that purple down there. It looks like. So this is actually enough to probably do two full tumblers. So I'm going to cut off that end down there because we're going to do some jewelry as well. There is a bubble. I'm going to stab it with my pen and then move it. So I'm going to go right about here. Why here? I don't know. 
because it was already had a cut. And then I'll have something to work with at the bottom. And I basically have the rest of the skin to do another cup, a small cup, a coffee cup, whatever. So um, it's like it's like a water slide wrap or whatever. Um, I am going to create some raw edges around here. I am going to try to snip this bottom off with some scissors because it has the purple pieces that I want to make um, uh, jewelry with. So like if you were doing a, a fabric tumbler, you would just snip the fabric off. Same technique. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to fold, try to save this because it folded on each other. And this is the pretty piece in here with the purple that I really like. So I'm just going to lay this right down here. So see that little piece? I love that piece right there. Um, so we essentially have this whole other half of this skin left. So the sky's the limit, right? So we are going to go with this one. Oopsie. I'm going to move this to the side so you guys can watch what I'm doing here. Um, you see that there's some bubbles under it, whatever. I'm just going to rub it down. So I don't want this straight edge here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find um, organic flow and then use my X-Acto knife to cut, um, cut away a piece. So it's kind of, it kind of looks naturally that way, right? So... Maybe here. I don't want any hard edges because it kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm going to put that to the side because each piece of that is you can use it. Yes, that is correct. So this is kind of, um, this is very pointy. I don't want this. So I will go in and just follow this little piece here. See how this like little chunk right here? I didn't like that. So I just moved it out. So it kind of looks natural-ish. Um, there's another piece that is bugging me. Hmm. It's like that point. I don't want it pointy. So maybe. My husband was going to bring me to the store and then COVID closed everything down. I'm still planning on a trip to come. Stacy, we'd love to meet you. All right. And maybe down here, there's another little piece that I can remove to make it look splashy, maybe. Oh, right there. All right. Um, now I'll. This was. This was not. This was a a lot. Um, a raw edge here, but I'm going to try to clean it up just a little bit to follow a little bit of a flow. I want it to feel natural, and not that I just picked it up and wrapped it on a cup, which we did. But you know. We don't want it to look like that. There we go. Super easy to cut. This, I mean, it's basically, um, um, you know, it's basically just acrylic paint. You don't need. I would recommend a sharp, um, a sharp knife because our sharp exacto. So that way it just cuts where you need it to cut and it doesn't like drag your paint if you're trying to follow um, a pour line. Like that. Okay. 
and this is all personal preference. I'm not telling you you have to do it this way. If you like it um, fully wrapped and overlapping, that'd be cool. I actually want to use some foil on mine, so I'm going to probably help these edges a little bit um, with some uh, with some foil. So same thing with the top. I'm going to try to expose my rim at the top a little bit where it looks like kind of gives it a flowy look. And there's this one. Be careful. Do not cut your finger. There we go. All right, so that's going around the top. Focus, 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 focus. Um, Jeremy, just in case no one has told you today, the whole MAG crew is absolutely amazing. Thanks for all you do. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. It's definitely, um, it's definitely a, um, all of us. It's not, we could never do what we do without our crew. Um, and we are internally grateful for them being here with us. I'm going to take this purple off and try to see if I can put it in a bezel because it's kind of pretty. Yep. Right. And then find something organic at the bottom to do. Here's one. And this one has a little bit of white on it right here. I don't like. And then I'm going to create my own little wave here. Same thing with here. There we go. So, let me move these out of the way so they're not rolling back around on me. So I see some bubbles under here, so I would take my, um, my, my weeding pen and I would just pop them and then rub them down and they're gone. So you could maybe do a wet method with this if you really wanted to, if it was going to cause you problems or give you issues or <clears throat> stress you out. I'm not letting nothing stress me out, so I'm just going to pop the bubbles myself. There's another piece that was laying over the top. So what I want to do next is, um, so this is what I have. Not 100% not what I'm going to do. I might open that up a little bit more. Or I might open this line right here. Okay, so I see a line that I'm just going to cut out. So I'm kind of thinking of this as like a reverse geode maybe. But instead of removing it with acetone, I'm just cutting it out. That makes sense. Let's see, what I'm going to do with this. We'll come down here and you will end right in there. Wait, don't really want to be that person, but the spot on the other side looks like a man part. This spot right here? What, this spot? What? Not a man part. 
Hi, Melissa. <laughs> All right, so we should we should change the we should change the um oh good grief uh, so we should change this shape a little bit right how about if we do it this way and I pull this line out to kind of make it look like this. How about that? Is it changed? Now it looks like a duck face, maybe. Can you un Can you unsee it now? Actually, I think I'm going to cut out this one too. Cuz it's kind of plain. It's an elephant now. I mean, there's a weird spot right here that I don't like. And it's lifted right here, like chunky. I'm going to remove this little Sploosh. How do y'all know I wasn't going for man parts? I mean, golly. Maybe a thin spot that runs like this. Okay. Can you use mica powders for some blingy bling? Um, I'm actually going to use some um, foil flakes that I have that I'll probably try to um, follow some other little organic patterns in here. Um, and so it'll kind of like leave a little thing, right? This is just, I don't like that. This is just ends right here and it just like, there we go. That point was looking weird. So, I mean, it's not, it's not. How about this one too? Here's another one that I want to do, take out. So basically I'm trying to remove all the just little blah, blue blobs and just leave the cell pattern. But I will, I'm replacing the blue blobs with gorgeous glitter. At least that's what I'm thinking in my head. All right, so the next thing I have is, what's I got? What's, what's I got? What'd they do with it? Um, 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 so I have some tacket. 
few of those pieces so you can cut. Um, how about put a few of those pieces that you cut out in the plain white spaces? Y'all need to calm down in the warehouse. Hey, what'd y'all do with my foil? If I was my foil, where would I be? Oh, found it. Okay. So I got this three pack of foil off of Amazon, off the Amazon, right? Um, so we're going to use this stuff. This stuff is the devil, just letting you know. Um, it gets everywhere. Okay. So welcome to your next nightmare, right? So I have this um, little silicone paintbrush thing or whatever. Um, and I'm going to put a little bit of this tacket. Ooh, it would make a good wood grain. Um, oh, nope. It is mixed, but is not shaken. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So, I got it off the Amazon. And I'll have a link below so you can get it off the Amazon, too. Um, I'm just going to put a few little squirts a little bit. This is already pre-mixed. You could use it straight out the bottle for this. This is just... Um, it's no reason that I'm using this. It's just that I have it and it's next to my hands. So, um, <laughs> Rebecca. Um, so I have this, this silicone little nubby thing. Um, God bless you, Mr. Nola. Um, oh, I have another one. I don't know where these came from, but it's like a paintbrush, but it just has like a little silicone nubby thing. Um, Joe asked, what is the tacket mixed with? Um, half and half water. So I'm going to use this little pointy thing and I'm going to find where I may want some of those devil flakes. So I would imagine it would be kind of cool if it went around here. Can y'all see what I'm doing? So I'm just trying to follow the edge. I might put it over the over the edge a little bit because the tacket is going to kind of repel on your um, epoxy. But so you can put it right right over the edge, like half on the edge, half not on the edge. So I'm going to try that. Um, watch, this is going to be crazy. All right, so these things are ridiculous. I won't let this dry. You can if you want to. If the phone rings or you got to cook dinner or whatever, when you come back, it's still going to be tacky. It's still going to do whatever it's got to do. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to dive right in with this chunky stuff and kind of tap it down into that, and you will get it everywhere. Okay. So you will get this absolutely everywhere. It will be a pain in your tush, probably your husband's tush, whatever. This might look good with gold maybe, but I let somebody borrow my gold. So I don't have gold. So we're going with silver. Um, yeah, my podge would work. Absolutely. Everything. Um, any kind of glue. I mean, it's not, you're just basically um, trying to attach it down. You, it doesn't matter. You can use Mod Podge. You can use Elmer's glue. You could use whatever you have. Honestly, it's not a big deal. Whatever, use whatever you got. So then I'm just going to go back over the top of it a little bit. I want it to be irregular still to kind of get make it organic, but I kind of want to cover the edge. Copper would be cool. Um, I have this one. Maybe I should have used that, but I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I don't know, be not so crazy. I just thought silver would be really pretty, like silver and sapphire, basically. And then um, there's probably um, also another way to put these flakes on where they don't stick to your finger and everything you own. But, you know, I don't know that one yet. So then, so if you can see. So it's kind of like a jagged little edge. And I probably will even go around these little spaces right here, like the little cutout spaces that I did. Um, 
But so you see where I'm going. This will probably take a little while to do. So I won't complete this whole thing while we're on live because I'm going to show you some other things to do with the skins since we have um, stuck on your finger. Um, since I have your attention and I promised you a couple uh, another thing. Uh, and it's my favorite thing to do with skins. Um, yeah, this film will, this foil will stick absolutely everywhere but where you want it. Um, so there's that. <clears throat> a little bit more right there. Here's probably like a little picking tool. Our picking tool would probably work really well with this. But I'm, you know, I'm like, hey, why not just stick your fingers in it? That sounds like a great idea. You can lay it on top of here and then let it dry and then rub the excess off. Or you can just keep touching it like I do. And then your fingers look like this. Uh, use the other silicone brush you have to pick up the foil. Okay. So that's, that's, that's the essentially what I'm going to do. I'll, um, when I <laughs> can find my fingerprints again, I'll go back and finish that. I will add the spaces that I cut out. Um, I will make it not like you just stuck a sticker onto this and we'll finish it out. But essentially add some jujus to it. Just add some, you know, add some stuff add more glitter, put some shapes on it, do whatever. Uh, this is your cup and essentially nobody's idea how to do it. Um, I have never seen anybody do this before. So if you have, thank you for whatever. Um, but I really like, I think it looks really pretty. And so when you put it under epoxy, I think it's going to be really, really good. All right. So that's where we are. We might come back to that. But before I lose all y'all, I want to show you some other cool stuff. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a baby wipe. I'm going to try and wipe off the silver. That will not come off your fingers. So just wear gloves. That'd be nice. You should do that. You should wear gloves. Um, uh, the rest of the mic is I have. Okay. Um, what time is it? Three o'clock. Cool. Um, yeah. So I'm going to wipe my little space off. So I showed you guys these earlier, right, with the other skins that I have. So I have a bunch of other little bezels that I thought would be really fun using the really pretty blue um, skins. Um, and, yeah, these uh, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. I'll link you on Amazon where you can get them. I have boatloads of them everywhere. These are earrings, there's earrings, there's um, pendants, there's um, whatever. I got hearts, I got trees, I got all the things. I got a butterfly. So um, I got some little things in here. So I thought I would show you how easy it is to use these skins um, to make jewelry, right? So we have... Um, the glitter white was White Castle. Gorgeous. Yes. And got some in a mystery bag. Like, whatever. I mean, we've had these. Um, all, we've had them a long time. Um, we don't have them for sale anymore. But you've probably gotten them free at some point sometime. Or, uh, you know, I'll show you a link. This is our um, tool decal kit thing or whatever. Uh, it's got this little board in it inside. It's only got one of these. It's got all the things that you would need. It's got some, it's got two of these. I've done lost one. Uh, it's got a ruler if you need a ruler, decal helper. So this is like a decal helper box. So I like these because um, I will show you. Let's see. I have this skin. This is really pretty. See this one? Ugh. I think it's so pretty. It's like purple celly. Focus, damn it. Um, yeah, see how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. Um, so, and I have a tiny one that I think would fit. So I just lay these all around. I have my UV resin you get from us or get it from anywhere you want. I don't care. I have, um, our UV light. You can, again, get it from us or get it from everywhere you want. Um, Oh, Melissa. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you how cool this is. So I have this little butterfly 
And if you see, the bezel is that big and the skin is that big. So you could literally use any skin to make this. Is the oil bottle you used for the skins online? Um, I will, Cheryl, when we get done with the video, I will definitely have a link to everything that you can buy um, and where I got it. And um, if you don't mind using my affiliate link for it, I'd be awesome. Um, it's not something that I carry in store, but um, I do have an affiliate link for it through Amazon. Yes. And if you are having a great time or if you're learning something or you're getting super excited, give me a thumbs up. I love that. Um, so I have um, I'm going to get a sharp blade because you're going to fight less if you have a sharp blade. OK, so you get two of these in that decal help helper kit and it's just like regular exacto knife or whatever. But it's got all these blade replacements. So your blades are always be sharp. OK. All right. So what I did is um, the last one I did, I just like pressed down into the skin with my bezel. And then it kind of gave me like an indention of my circle. And then what I did then is I just took my sharp blade and cut it out. Now it'll be just a little bit big because um, if you're cutting directly around the, the shape, because that's the outside of your bezel. So if you want to trim it a little shorter, you can. But... I love this little um, board because you can um, you can cut on it and you're not cutting into your table like all the gashes I have in the table currently. OK. And then it's a little bit big, so I will lay it where I want it. Make sure I have the little piece that I want and I'm going to squish it in with my finger like that. So this is what it looks like. Focus, quit focusing on Mr. Ellis' face back there. Right? And then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to trim off the rest. Hey, Paula. All right. And so I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and go around this circle and trim off the excess. Okay, like this, oopsie poopsie, I cut a little bit too short, so I'm just going to cut it here and move it over, get with the program, this one's really tiny, so this one's like the hardest one, I really like the bigger ones, but you know, if I'm not showing you the hard one, am I even doing a craft? One more little jujute right there. Okay. So this one's not perfect, but whatever. I'm going to show you anyways. Okay. So there's my skin and my bezel. I'm going to take my UV resin. And I'm going to put... A little bit on it. It takes basically a drop to fill these. And um, you would take a toothpick and make sure it's all covered. And um, it kind of domes, so that's good. But I want to make sure that it always it goes all the way to the end. I don't have anything, whatever. Then I have my UV light. I'm going to slide this in here. And turn on the light and good to go. Um, Lisa, I just started. <laughs> I'm literally, this is like, I'm working with the second one that I've ever done. Um, and the, I, you did, I did the third one at the beginning of this video. Like seriously, um, 
it's just something that I've seen a lot of people do. I've done a lot of acrylic pours before and I've hated every single one of them because I don't understand less is more. And I'm just like, hey, put 47 colors in it. It's going to look great. They do not look great when you put 47 colors in them. So, um, yeah. All right. So I have another piece of this skin and I have another bezel. So that's how you would just do that. This looks kind of fun right here. This one would be pretty. So if you if you're putting this down and it's got like a little lip and it doesn't go, um, you can bring your piece of skin to the side. I'm going to show you a trick and turn your light back on. Hang your bezel over the side like so, because, you know, see how it's like sticking over here. And then you press like heck to get your indention and then you get it all the way around. See, and now you have the indention of your circle and then you just cut around it. So you can either use that or you can use these. Um, you, if you have some small, tiny scissors. Um, hi, Crystal. Um, you can cut your circle out that way, which might be easier. Though. It had to be pretty sharp. Um, I think, Crystal, did you even send me these scissors? I think you might have sent the scissors to me. These are my fancy B word stabbers. I know someone sent them to me. All right, so I'm just going to follow around this circle. So there's your little circle of your skin. And then here's my bezel. This one's going to be pretty. I'm going to squish it in there and then I'm going to trim it just a tiny bit. I'm not going to mess this one up, guys. I promise. Maybe. Let me push it all the way down in there. All right into the belt and then cut with the exacto knife. You can. Um, I just had more control my personal self with the scissors. I did the first one like that and I ended up cutting it too short. So that's why I was like, hey, let me work with the scissors because I don't know. It sounded like a good idea on paper. Yeah. So you can cut that just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, I said. And then press that in. Just a teeny tiny bit right here. Don't you dare. All right, I'm just gonna leave it that way. So there we go. All right, so going to put my UV resin on the top of it. No. Okay. All right. So something's bothering me. Let me pull it out. There just needs to be a little bit trimmed and it's not working with that exacto knife because it keeps tearing. So one second. I'm not going to be happy until I cut it too short. There we go. Yep. See? Now I'm happy. I got a big gaping hole in the side. Cool. All so this takes a little bit. Oh, this one's so pretty. You will not see the bet. You will not see the mess up. Um, they stay soft indefinitely. I don't think they get hard. At least I don't think so. And so here is my butterfly. I don't know if it's going to. Focus, dang it. Look how pretty. I love the little seal, the cells. So I'm probably going to send this to my mom. It's really pretty. You can see where I messed up. Mm, don't look at it, whatever. All right, so let's do one more. Um, I like the big bezels because I like my 
big room. All right, so here's my skin still. So I have all this other skin. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but um, I got it. So this is just the left, the other little piece I had left over. I need to order more Spitfire, but what's the best glitter you used on your cup? Um, this is, I think it's the Marikee Rave. This, this glitter, I believe it's Marikee Rave. You can buy a punch? What? I don't know. I don't know what this what this is. I have to measure. I would need a measury thing, which is in this box. Um, I don't know. But that sounds like fun. Wait, why don't I have? Well, son of a no, but it's a oh yeah. Christina, I'm gonna buy me a punch. Oh, I'm doing it today. All right. Because I like the big bezels ainty ways, right? All right, so I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to do it kind of cool-ish in this white part right here. So it's going to give it a little bit of another type of look. So I'm going to make sure it's hanging off this edge when I push it down. Mm. Hi, Megan. How are you? One more time for good measure. All right. So, give me these scissors. Okay. So, I'm going to save the rest of that in case I need it at another time. So, I'm going to cut on the inside of this line to see if I can get a little bit closer without fighting with it like I did last time. Can you guys see me? I'm sorry. I'm all in the zone over here. Forget you guys are hanging out with me. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Fit. Fit. We'll get in there. Aha, uh -huh. perfect fit. So cut on the inside of your line. This one's going to be super pretty. This almost looks like a peacock feather or something. A little bit of UV resin. Ooh, I likey, likey this one. Oh, I don't know. I like that one too, though. All right, so I'm going to put that one in there. And then show you guys this one. So all you need is a little bit of UV resin. And um, you can make really pretty bezels. You can make these into keychains. You can make them earrings, a clipboard mold. Rachel, put it on a tumbler or a clipboard. Oh, yeah. So the skin, I got you. I'm going to finish up this one so we can. I'll show you that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so I did the tumbler in the beginning. So this is just a little land yap. This was just a little land yap. Oh, the beach. I just came back from the beach. Oh, 504 and the UV resin at the top. Oh, this one's pretty, y'all. This one. Okay, see, I can't wait. You got it one more time and then I can show you. That one is super pretty. So I will try to lay these on here so you guys can see all the ones. These, of course, I did with that rainbow skin. That was awful. It was too much, too much, too much. Like literally every little piece of this, you can actually save if um, if you look, that would be really pretty in there. Just so much, so pretty. All right, so let's see, that should be done. Ooh, oh, wait, I need another little drop. I didn't, you know what I didn't do? I didn't take my... Um, I didn't take my toothpick and make sure it was all in the corner. That's what I didn't do. So hang tight. That sounds like a delivery back there. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put this back in one more second. Actually, let me put a little bit more over the whole thing because it's gotta be even. I know this. Okay. All right. There's a little bubble there, so pop you little sucker. Okay. All right. One more thing and then y'all can go. All right. Now I use the rest of the skin on a clipboard mold. Okay, I have to find one. Um, I just do it two, two times. It's uh, like two minutes. And this is a really hot, this is our um, extra hot lamp or whatever. So, all right. Ooh, cook odd, whatever. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there is some cool new things happening <coughs> on our website. Hang on, let me take a drink. So um, we have had all of our pictures retaken. Um, there are few left to do, but hopefully um, by tomorrow, which is um, launch day, uh, all of the pictures will be taken. Um, will be taken again. I mean, we'll all be uploaded. So tomorrow we will roll out a brand new Mr. Nola's Glitter website. We are super excited. We have been working on this site for months and um, it is going to be bigger and better than you guys have ever seen. I know that we get we have a lot of product and we have um, a lot of things for you guys to sort through and dig through and all of that. Um, we have a state of the art um search engine that has been added like you will be able to search it down to flakes okay so there it will be easy to find what you're looking for and it'll be easy to see new things that you've never seen before so we are super 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 excited about that tomorrow our brand new line of mica powders will be dropping um, you guys have asked us hundreds of times to carry individual colors of micas, and we listen to you guys, and so we will be rolling that out. Um, we will also be rolling out three new lines of chameleon micas, which are super fun, especially for people that do molds and all of that stuff. And then, 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 then we have two ginormous announcements to make. So that is all I'm going to tell you about that. I will not even give you a hint, but these announcements um, for these things that we want to tell you about has been a long time coming. And we're going to be so excited to finally share that with you. I have been um, working on this for six months. So super, 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 super huge um, announcements tomorrow for two different things. So um, I'm so excited. Um, is the beach set available? Uh, the sunset of the regular beach. I think we just got the final thing for the regular beach back in. Um a few years ago, I went to your house. I'm an Australian. Don't know if you remember me. Miss Joe, I think I do remember you. Um, we have come a long way from the house, right? From that little dinky bedroom that you guys used to shop in. And um, now we have all of this. So, um, yeah. So, regular beach. Crystal, I think we just got a shipment in. So, let me make sure um, we should be able to get that one back on stock. Uh, Elizabeth, what time will we be on tomorrow? Girl, I don't know. Whew. We have a lot of things to do tonight to make sure that everything gets added. So I need. I'm still here. Am I still here? No, I don't want to hang around. Wait, wait, what's going on? We'll be right back. Hang around. Who said that? Am I here? Am I here? Oh, good. Back. All right, and that's wrap. No, I'm just joking. Um, oh, wait, I want to show you this one. 
Wait, I just got to do one more time. Uh, so anyways, tomorrow, I'm not sure what time. Um, I don't know what time we'll be live. Uh, we will be riding that clock and trying to get everything under the wire. Um, but um, is Alyssa, am I back? You're back. <laughs> Who typed this? The just yes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Somebody typed that. It was not me. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow, um, probably tomorrow afternoon at some point. And we will have some stuff that will blow your mind. Okay. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I will finish this, um, this here. And uh, maybe I'll, I don't know if I have time to do it today. Maybe I can show y'all tomorrow. Um, no, I will be, we will do the announcement in our Facebook group. So if you're not a member of our Facebook group, come on over, hang out, come see us. Um, you'll love it there. We have nice people. Look, here's the um, here's the other one that looks like a uh, that look like a peacock feather to me. Love it, love it, love it. Yep, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. When y'all do your thing, make sure to tag me, show me, send me a I don't know, send me a pigeon, whatever. But show me what you do. Um, if there's another way going about doing this, I'd love to hear it. Um, I'm just learning, so. We're all learning together. Uh, Domino mold is not back in stock yet. Uh, it's coming. Uh, we are working on um, getting the double nine and double 12 as well. So you guys will be able to uh, update your game and have a whole complete set. And then uh, I might have a line on the Mexican train um, centerpiece for it as well. Okay. Wait. Oh, somebody's calling me. All right. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Um, Thank you for hanging out with me. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and then come find us on all the other platforms of social media. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.